Thanks, Cockatoo. Perfect timing. I was just going to show you around the garden a little bit. Um, put in these climbing frames, these supports, and they've really been great for the cucumbers. The cucumbers are producing really nicely now. There's a few of them that are definitely ready to pick. Um, some big ones like that one in there. There's another one up the back. Oh goodness me, in there somewhere. And then even uh, another one hanging over the back edge of you. Just in there that's also ready to pick. Let's pick all those ones. I've got another vine growing down this way that I think has got another one that's ready to pick too. So these are Lebanese cucumbers. I'm very impressed with the number of cucumbers that we're getting. Oh, there's another one down there too. Loads of cucumbers. This bed is getting quite full. And I'm very, very excited to see jalapenos. Oh, that one's got a bit weird. What happened to that? Anyway, hopefully I get a good lot of these and I can actually make up a few jars of pickled jalapenos and possibly even a chili sauce or two. This jalapeno plant is getting nice and tall. I've got another one in here somewhere up the back. Hopefully it produces too. Yeah, a little crowded in there. Got some watermelon cascading over the edge of the bed there. Hopefully it produces a couple of watermelons at least. You can see one tiny little fruit down there that could well be set. The fact that it's hanging down is a good sign and hopefully that starts swelling up and turning into a watermelon. Can't see too many other female flowers though. There's a lot of a lot of these male flowers, but you can see that there's no little fruit underneath that. Um, trying to see if there are any female flowers around. Well, there's one. So underneath, and that one's already hopefully been fertilized. You can see that it has the little fruit underneath, whereas the male flowers just go up to the flower stem. You can see all the pollen inside there. But yeah, I came out here to get cucumbers. You can see these cherry tomatoes are going very nicely here. These are the grape, the yellow grape tomatoes. Those ones are definitely ready to pick. And a nice lot more of them as well. And these supports have been invaluable for just giving it more vertical space to grow. So very impressed with them going to be growing a lot more up these supports and in the potato bed here or the bed that I picked the potatoes from recently I've planted uh, just I think it was just the Grossalissi tomato seeds I don't know how you pronounce that Grossalissi, Grossalissa, Grossliss who knows G-R-O-S-S-E space L-I-S-S-E I think it is but I've put seeds in there because trying to grow something underground like potatoes with the avocado tree roots that just go all through that bed from this tree is not fun to dig out so I'll try and see if the tomatoes will go better or something that grows above ground hopefully get a decent crop of tomatoes out of them got some Roma tomatoes on here 
that are nearing picking stage. There's quite a few on there. And some smaller ones starting up the top. Now I got very distracted and I was going to pick avocados, oh, not avocados, cucumbers. Let me go and get a tripod so that I can put that up while I pick the uh, cucumbers. All right, let's pick some cucumbers. Not sure if those actually showed up on camera. Anyway, they're these. Got a bit of stuff on them from the bed. Wash that off. Three nice cucumbers. I think I've got one more that I've got to pick. One or two more from the other vine. Let's go over and grab them. Somewhere in there. It's getting a bit jungly in there. Alright, may as well get this one. Come here you. Now we've still got at least one or two more growing on there. More to come. And a lot on that other one. Probably a good another three or four that I can see. Plus a big one that's almost ready to pick. Another day or two. Now I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with all these cucumbers. Maybe a Greek salad or something. Oh yeah. Not a bad haul of cucumbers. All right, I'm gonna go rinse them off. They have these little tiny spines all over the fruit. I think they just fall off eventually. I wonder what that is. That's probably some slug or snail or something that's got at, got at the cucumbers. There you go, five cucumbers.